Hey everybody, welcome back to Montreal Connected. And one of the reasons the Toronto Blue Jays have done so well this season is because of their pitcher, Mark Burley, to bring us to speed on the Jays' ace. We join Stephen Brunt from our Sportsnet studios in Toronto. Let's start with some background on Burley prior to him joining the Jays in 2013. Well, Mark Burley's had a long and distinguished career as a, a starter in the American League and uh, briefly in the National League with the Miami Marlins. But it really, he made his reputation with the Chicago White Sox. He won a, uh, he, he threw a perfect game there. He threw a no-hitter with the White Sox. He won a World Series, and uh, and then went to the Miami Marlins as a as a big money free agent signing uh, before being traded to the Toronto Blue Jays before last season. So. Uh, maybe the, one of the, the less heralded parts of that trade in terms of uh, Toronto, I think people didn't have enormous expectations about what Burley might be able to do here, but he has been the happiest surprise from that trade as well. He's a pretty durable pitcher, but how has he been able to beat so many batters with an 85 mile per hour fastball well below the 100 mile an hour plus stuff that's thrown by many pitchers these days? Uh, he is very durable. You know, he is a guy that throws 200 innings every year. He's never had arm problems. Uh, he is incredibly durable. That's one of his great values to the team is that, you know, he's going to go out there and give you innings. Uh, but you're right. He, you know, he peaks out in the 80s with his fastball. Uh, we're in an era because of, you know, radar guns where I think we spend a lot of time looking at velocity with pitchers, you know, guys who can throw in the high 90s. And, uh, but major league hitters, if they know a fastball is coming, they can turn on a 100-mile-an-hour fastball. It's all about movement about location and about the difference between your fastest pitch and your slowest pitch in terms of velocity that differentiation if you can spread that out by about 10 miles an hour you can be very effective throwing uh, hitters off balance so Burley does that the difference is rather than doing it in a range of 93 and 83 he does it between 83 and 75 so it, it proves you know it's proof if, the, if you needed it that pitching is an art that it's not just about throwing the ball by people it's about fooling hitters and keeping them off balance and this season, he has done that just about as well as anyone. Yeah, he's definitely got a unique approach to understanding batters in the league. Oh, I guess it's because, well, he doesn't really try to. He stays away from reviewing all the analysis and pre-series uh, scouting reports. Uh, does this put him in a league of his own, really? He's different. You know, he, what he does is uh, the, the catcher puts down the sign, um, gives him a location, and Mark Burley throws the pitch. You know, a lot of pitchers are far more... Uh, engaged in kind of game planning for the opposition uh, and individual hitters, they'll shake a catcher off. Mark Burley never shakes his catcher off. He, he just, if you put down a one for a fastball, he's going to throw a fastball and he's going to throw it where you want it. And that works for him. He works very quickly in a game as well. So you'll see him uh, just throw pitch after pitch after pitch um, without any back and forth with his catcher. It's not a method that would work for a lot of guys and most pitchers wouldn't do it, but it works very well for Burley. All right, uh, he's a very uh, entertaining pitcher to watch. Uh, uh, thank you, Stephen, for this. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Walter.